The Trinidad and Tobago Table of Equivalencies of the International Classification of Crime for Statistical Purposes How can the judiciary better manage its criminal caseload? How can we in Trinidad and Tobago improve our crime-fighting programs? Since we can't manage what we can't measure, let's start by looking at the data. But not just any data. Crime data that is meaningful, reliable, comparable, and of course, easier to understand. Until recently, agencies within our criminal justice system did not share a common standard for classifying criminal offenses. For example, a crime would be categorized differently from one agency to the next and from one period to the next. Through the coordination of the Trinidad and Tobago Juvenile Court Project, agencies including the Central Statistical Office, Police Service, Children's Authority, Solicitor General's Department, Legal Aid and Advisory Authority, Office of the DPP and the Judiciary began working towards a solution. One recommendation was made to use a new international classification system for categorizing crime data developed by the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime called the International Classification of Crime for Statistical Purposes or simply the ICCS. The ICCS groups offenses based on four main criteria. One, policy area of a criminal act or event. Two, target of a criminal act or event. 3. Seriousness of a criminal act or event 4. Means by which a criminal act or event has been perpetrated Using the ICCS, the team of agency representatives was able to uniformly categorize offenses drawn from three areas 1. The police copy of charges 2. Charges filed at the judiciary within the last five years and 3. New offenses under the Children Act 2012. How was this done? Let's take a closer look at the ICCS. Firstly, the ICCS groups offenses into 11 level 1 categories. 1. Acts leading to death or intending to cause death. 2. Acts leading to harm or intending to cause harm to the person. 3. Injurious acts of a sexual nature. 4. Acts against property involving violence or threat against a person. 5. Acts against property only 6. Acts involving controlled psychoactive substances or other drugs 7. Acts involving fraud, deception or corruption 8. Acts against public order, authority and provisions of the state 9. Acts against public safety and state security 10. Acts against the natural environment and 11. Other criminal acts not elsewhere classified Next, the offenses are further categorized into Level 2, Level 3, and Level 4 categories where possible. Thirdly, each offense is given a numerical code. Finally, the ICCS provides a list of tags which describe characteristics about the criminal event, victims, offenders, and other useful information. These tags make it easier to understand the complexities surrounding individual offenses. The team of agency representatives took criminal offenses and carefully matched them to one of the level 1 categories. Then, they went on to align the offenses to level 2 categories, level 3 categories, and where necessary, looked for alignments to level 4 categories, each time assigning the appropriate numerical code. The result was a table of offenses and codes seamlessly aligned to the ICCS, the Trinidad and Tobago Table of Equivalencies of the International Classification of Crime for Statistical Purposes. Trinidad and Tobago is the first country within the CARICOM region to produce a crime classification structure that is streamlined with the ICCS. Using the Table of Equivalencies, we can generate more meaningful crime statistics see how we truly measure up against other countries on crime, more effectively manage criminal caseloads in the court, and have the tools to make more informed decisions about crime-fighting policies and programs. For more information on the Trinidad and Tobago Table of Equivalencies of the ICCS, visit the Juvenile Court Project website at www.jcp.tt.